Hi guys, you're welcome back to our YouTube channel. Are you interested in trading cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum and the rest of them? One of the most popular cryptocurrency exchange is Sex.io. And in this video, I will be showing you guys how to create and verify your Sex.io account on your mobile device. Creating a Sex.io account is a straightforward process but verifying your account is a crucial step to ensure the security and the integrity of your transactions. In this video tutorial, I will guide you through each step from downloading the Sex.io app to completing the verification process. By the end of this video, you have a fully verified Sex.io account and be ready to start trading cryptocurrencies on your mobile device using Sex.io. So let's get started. So guys, now the first step you have to take now is to download and install the sex.io app into your mobile device and for you to do that you have to go over to your play store that's if you're using an android device but if you're using an iphone or an ios device what you have to do is to go over to your app store so guys let me tap on my play store since i'm using an android device in this video tutorial let me tap on this right away so guys once your play store or your app store opens up what you have to do now is to tap at the search bar you can see that at the top let me tap on it then you type in sex.io so let me type it in right away sex.io then you tap on enter let me tap on search so guys now you can see the sex.io app right there the arrow is pointing at it let me tap on it so you see it clearly so guys now you can see the app right there you can see the logo you can see the name sex.io app buy crypto and btc so guys all you have to do right away now is to actually download and install this and for you to do that you have to tap on where it is written install you can see there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it right away So guys, now you can see it has started downloading. As you can see, there is that 2%. What you have to do is just to wait till it gets to 100%. Once it's fully downloaded, then it's going to start installing automatically. So guys, let's just wait for a few seconds. So guys, now you can see it has gotten to 100%. In a few seconds, now it's going to start installing. So guys, now you can see it has started installing. So let's wait for a few seconds. So guys, now you can see the sex.io app is done downloading and installing. So what I have to do now is to tap on enable. So let me tap on enable. You can see where the arrow is pointing at. Let me tap on it. Then let me tap on open. So guys, now you can see the sex.io app is opening. Let's just wait for a few seconds. So guys, now you can see what's written here. Welcome to sex.io. You can see the three steps that are listed here. The first one is to create an account. It will take you a minute. The second one is to verify your identity. That will take you five minutes. But the third one is to enjoy your crypto journey by using this sex.io app. So guys, now the next step you have to take now is to tap on where it is written. Create your account. You can see down there the arrow is pointing at it. So let me tap on it right away. So guys, now you can see what's written there. Create your account. Enter your email address. We will send you a confirmation link there. So guys, all you have to do now is to enter a valid email address right here. So let me do that right away. Let me enter my email. So guys, now you can see I've entered my email address. So what I have to do now is to tap on continue. So let me tap on this right there. You can see it. So guys, now you can see the next step. You can see what's written there. Enter password. So guys, you have to create a password. So guys, you can see the criteria of creating a password. Your password should contain 10 or more characters, one uppercase Latin letter, one lowercase Latin letter, and one digit. So guys, let me go ahead now to input my password. Let me input it right away. So guys, now you can see I've entered my password. You can see I met all the criteria down there. So guys, what I have to do now is to tap on continue. So let me tap on it right away. So guys, now you can see it's loading. So guys, now you can see the next step. You can see what's written there. Choose your country of residence. This is the country where you are a citizen. So guys, let me go ahead now to choose my country. And for you to do that, you have to tap on where it is written, country of residence. You can see there the arrow is pointing at it. So let me tap on it now to select my country. So guys, now you can see here the list of countries. What you have to do now is to scroll through to look for your country. But in case you're finding it hard to actually find your country, what you have to do now is to tap on the search bar at the bottom corner. You can see there the arrow is pointing at it. Let me tap on it. Then you type in your country. Let me type in my country. So guys, now you can see my country right there. So let me select it. So guys, now you can see I've selected my country. So guys, now the next step you have to take now is to actually tick those boxes right there. You can see where the arrows are pointing. Those two boxes, you have to tick it. And by ticking it, you're actually agreeing to the terms of service and privacy policy of sex.io app. So guys, let me go ahead now to do it. Let me tick the box. Let me mark the other second one right away. So guys, now you can see I've ticked both boxes. So what I have to do now is to tap on continue down there. So let me tap on it right away. So guys, now you can see it's loading. So guys, now you can see the next step. You can see what's written there. Verifying you a robot. So guys, now you can see here's the next step. You can see what's written there. Confirm your email. 
we have sent you an email to your email address please check your email to confirm your account activation so guys what i have to do now is to go over to my gmail app to check my email that has been sent to me so let me go over to it right away let me split my screen okay, let me tap on my gmail app right away okay, let me scroll upwards to look for the email so guys now you can see the email right there the arrow is pointing at it from sex.io so let me tap on it now to see it and open it so guys you can see what's written here to finish your registration confirm your email address by clicking the button below valid for 24 hours so guys what i have to do now is to tap on confirm email so let me tap on it right away but before i tap on confirm email let me get to copy this code right here you can see what's written down there alternatively you can use this code to confirm so let me copy it right away let me highlight it then let me copy it so guys now let me tap on confirm email then let me open with my sex.io app then let me tap on always so guys now you can see my sex.io app is opening wow guys can see we have gotten to the next step you can see what's written there let's verify your identity so guys now we are done creating our account you can see there you are the arrow is pointing out completed so now let's go over to the second step which is verify your identity so guys, what you have to do is to tap on verify now so let me tap on it right away so guys now you can see here is the next step what you have to do now is to provide all of this information you have to choose your country you have to input your zip code in case you don't know your zip code what you have to do is to go over to your browser then you search for zip code of where you live or zip code of the area or maybe of your city or the state where you live in then you type in your city you input your city you input your street address your street address and the last one is apartment slash suit that one is actually optional it's not a must so guys, let me go ahead now to input all of this so let me do that real quick so guys now i've provided all the information that they need so what i have to do now is to tap on next so let me tap on next right away so guys now you can see the next one which is phone verification so what i have to do now is to input your phone number so let me do that right away so guys now you can see i've imputed my phone number so what i have to do now is to tap on next so let me tap on next so guys now you can see here's the next step you can see what's written there scan your id please be ready to scan your document you have to submit your identification documents such as international passport driver's license or id card so guys, now for you to actually select the document type what you have to do now is to tap on where it is written document type you can see there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it right away to select my document type so guys now you can see we have three options here the first one is international passport the second one is national id card while the last one is driver's license so whichever one that you have just select it so let me tap on the second option which is national id card so let me select it right away so guys now you can see i've selected the document type which is national id card i can see the issuing country which is my country nigeria so guys now what i have to do now is to tap on next so let me tap on next right away so guys now you can see what's written here allow sex.io app to take pictures and record video so let me tap on allow so guys now you can see what's written here front side of your document so guys what you have to do now is to take the picture of the front side of your id card so let me do that right away so guys now you can see me trying to focus on the id card to allow the id card to be captured so let me do that right away so guys now you can see what's written here check readability so guys you have to check if actually you can read all that is there you can use this zoomer right here to actually look at it so you can see this zoomer this zoomer can see it's zooming all of it so i can see everything actually so because after you're done with this now what you have to do now is to tap on is readable you can see it down there they said make sure details are clear to read with no blur or glare so guys let me tap on is readable let me tap on it right away so guys now you can see here is the next step you can see what's written there back side of your document so what you have to do now is to turn over to the back of your id card and take the picture so guys let me do that right away So guys you can see it's the same step you can see check readability so what you have to do now is to use this zoomer to see if you can actually read all that is in this document so guys after that what you have to do now is to tap on is readable so let me tap on it right away so guys now you can see here's the next step you can see what's written there personal information so guys what you have to do now is to input your first name your middle name your last name your date of birth your gender and your nationality so guys let me feed this right away let me do it real quick so guys now you can see i've imputed my first name my middle name my last name my date of birth my gender and my nationality so what i have to do now is to tap on next so let me tap on it right away so guys now you can see the next step document information so guys now what you have to do now is to cross check if actually the serial number of your id card is correct you can see mine is correct and my issuing country is actually correct so let's go back to the next one you can see what's written there 
document has an expiry date so guys if your document has an expiry date what you have to do now is to toggle this on as you can see there is already on but if your document does not have an expiry date what you have to do now is to toggle this off you have to turn this off so guys, my id card does not have an expiry date the id card i'm using is actually my national id card but in case you're using a driver's license i think driver's license do have expiry date so what you have to do now is to toggle it on so so guys let me toggle this off now since i'm using a national id card that doesn't have an expiry date let me do that right away so the next step now is to tap on next down there so let me tap on it so guys now you can see the next step take a selfie with your id take a selfie holding your id make sure both the id and your face are clearly visible so guys what you have to do now is to tap on open camera so let me tap on it so guys you can see the instructions right here rotate your device to landscape make sure your device orientation lock is disabled so guys just make sure the auto rotate feature in your phone is turned on the next thing now to do is to take a picture of yourself on your id card so guys you can now see there is a divided screen the left and the right frame the left frame is for your face position your face on the left frame while the right frame is for your id card position your id card on the right frame after rightly positioning your face on your id then your face on your id will be automatically captured by the software your face on your ID will be captured by the app. But guys, I found out that this stage in the process of verification is very problematic to so many persons, especially with this divided screen. After positioning your face and your ID card, there is this notification that normally pops out saying, not recognized. We are unable to automatically recognize your face or your document. Please take a selfie with your documents manually. So guys, the solution to this problem is in the notification. What you have to do is to look... What you have to do is to read the notification again. You can see what is written there. Please take a selfie with your document manually. That's the solution. You have to manually take a selfie with your document rather than trying to position yourself in the divided screen on the left and on the right frames. That is very tiring and stressful. So guys, when the notification pops out, instead of tapping on trying again, what you have to do is to tap on OK. Tap on OK. By tapping on OK, you will then be able to manually take selfies with your document, this time with an undivided screen. So when you tap on OK, your screen should be like this. As you can see there, the screen is not divided. This is an undivided screen. So guys, after you've seen a screen like this, what you have to do right away now is to tap on where you can see snapshot. You can see there, by tapping on snapshot, you'll be able to take a selfie of yourself and your ID card manually. So guys, after that, you have to check if the image, the selfie is readable. That means if your ID card, the details of your ID card are readable and also if your face is actually clear. The next thing is to check if the selfie is readable. You can see there on the screen, if it's readable, what you have to do is to tap on it's readable. Then you can continue with the process, then your account will be verified. Wow, guys, can see you are successfully... Wow, guys, can see we have successfully verified our sex.io account. You can see what is written here. Good news. We have increased your account limit. So, guys, what I have to do now is to tap on continue. So, let me tap on continue right away. So, guys, now you can see what is written here. Use face ID slash touch ID for extra protection when accessing your app. You can enable face ID slash touch ID authentication. So guys, want to use face ID or fingerprint, you tap on enable. So guys, let me tap on enable right away. Wow, guys, can I see you have successfully created and verify our sex.io account. So now for us to confirm if actually is verified, if our identity is verified, what you have to do now is to tap at the profile icon at the top left corner. You can see the limit up on it. Then what you have to do next now is to tap on where it is written verification. You can see it there. So let me tap on it. So guys, now you can see it's processing. So guys, now you can see over there where the arrow is pointing at. Identity verification completed. You can see there it has been completed. So guys, now I've been able now to show you guys how you can actually create and verify sex.io account on your mobile device. So guys, I've come to the end of this video and I believe you got value from it. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe and leave a comment. And also, if you're new to our YouTube channel, don't forget to hit the bell notification so that when we release a new video like this one, you're going to get notified. See you on the next upload. Bye-bye. Peace.